Josh Hank and one of your kettlebell fat loss coaches. What I want to talk about today is the concept of power breathing. A common question is when do you exhale, when you inhale, how do you breathe when you perform a lot of the movements? To be honest, that's actually a pretty complicated question. For most people, the standard answer of you blow out when you exert, you breathe in when you come down, isn't a very sound advice when you're doing very serious forms of strength training, especially with kettlebells. The reason being is whenever you exhale, all your air out, what happens is you destabilize your trunk. So that natural, natural weight belt, known as your abdominals and low back and some of the deeper uh, inner unit muscles, become inactive and are unable to support your trunk when you do strength training activities. What you want to do is a concept called power breathing, developed by Pavel Zatsuin, or, or coined the term power breathing by Pavel. It's a great way to teach stability to the trunk and how to perform safe lifting. So we can easily learn this one, one of two ways. One is when you breathe in through your nose, you want your diaphragm to get big. So you see your stomach getting large. You don't want to see a big shoulder breath. That's actually very inefficient breathing. So deep breath through the stomach. Now what we can do is place our hands at the top of our rib cage, and we're going to just push the air out. So what I'm going to do is put the tongue, my tongue to the roof of the mouth and develop almost like a hissing sound. So we When I do that, I should feel tension go from all the way throughout my abdominal area. As I do that as well, I'm digging in my heels, so I'm clenching my glutes, which is going to help stabilize my back as well. So it's a deep breath in. And then. when I do that, I can feel a strong contraction all the way through my abdominal area, creating pressure and support for my back. Now how you do that with some of the kettlebell lifts is you want to do short abbreviated versions. If you're doing a quick lift like a swing, it's going to be a quick breath in and out. So when I'm performing my swing, it's a quick breath. Because the movement is so quick, my breaths are very short. When I want to do a strength lift like a military press, for example, and I take a breath in, and, and then, because I want to create tension at both phases of the movement. Because it's slower and longer duration, I might have to take more time to develop that breath. For a lot of times, for women that have had C-sections or pregnancies, this is also a great drill because you can pull back the abdominal area. Whenever you cut muscles, you also cut the nerves. So pregnancy definitely hurts women's appearance, even though you can be relatively lean. You could have that abdominal sitting forward like that even though you're relatively lean. So just practicing this drill in between sets can be a great way to train your abdominal area and correct some of the cosmetic problems that you like to enhance. So make sure to check out our other videos, kettlebellfatlosstraining.com.